Hey buddy, this is Steven, you could call myself the KC game, and we are back to dunk up a V3 killing harmony. I finally never got to delay it again. I hope I'm not gonna mess up like last time, but like sometimes I've been playing it for a very long time. But I leave here getting like a head start and uh, I remember last time I did and you only had enough for a certain we did some free times and when you hang out with Ryoma and Himiko, which is that's the only thing I could do because I had to pick some kind of items in order to like you can proceed the so kinda of like the free time event thing just like something triggers so meaning like you might be able to progress in like like in like your life story thing like it's the only way to like you gain like bonds or something and sometimes you have to like, like gain some like, like go fragments or something like that. I mean, it happened almost like exactly what happened with Dungeon Rumble 2. Like you had to try to bond with them, you get obtain one of those hope fragment things, and you had to spend it, you to get some of those skill or something like that. But I'm not sure if there's anything might be any skill related or something for this one. I don't know. We just have to wait until like one of them is going to die. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only thing I got enough for so far, and. Not only that, right at the end of it, like, Suiji and Kaede asked Mew to do some inventing things. I'm not sure how you pronounce to say this much. Like, he want, he want her to make a, some kind of like a, a detecting camera or the use of camera thing to set him up so he's able to like, catch the mastermind. Which, I'm not sure how exactly going to put that exactly. Which is at the final to see when it comes. And also, there's a. Something like the ultimate research lights open up, and you got one as well. Strangely. But I never got to see what Kaede's uh, research might be looking like, so... Well, I'll just check for it later, so, before I head out, so... And need to say before I leave, let's give her the cameras and sensor before she gets in a bad mood. She seems like the kind of girl to change her mind suddenly. Okay. Like, where can we find it? He did say if I in the warehouse, did he? I'm not sure he said we have something in the warehouse, so one way to find out. Which is check inside, right? I'm not sure where gonna give me some kind of like the jet there is exactly, but uh one way to find out. And Switch is already here. This place is huge! How we can find all the things we're looking for. That's Ah, uh, don't worry. I know where the cameras and the sensors are. I'll go get her. You can wait here. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Why do I get a bad feeling like Lee Kaede behind? Like, why is Kaede about to do something? While well, Suichi's gonna find some cameras or sensor, so. I think he said that Suichi walked to the back to the warehouse. Well, you want me to just look around for a bit? <laughs> That'd be interesting, now, so. Um, uh, gonna like smack into it. Oh, I think I can smack the other, I think. Yep, I mean, did not. I'm not sure what I hit exactly. I guess I hit something for the far distance, like, I don't know how. Well, in that as well. I mean, you need to get more into like, get more mana, mana coins or something. Yep. Did I hit one of those balls? I'm not sure I hit one of the poles or something. I keep hitting it, I'm not sure why I keep doing it. I did that a little bit. Oh, yeah, I did something off screen for like. There's a way to like to get more of these items so maybe get more get in touch with them. And I don't know it I luckily now there's not on the extras menu. Good enough in there. So like every single time you wanna get like Monoma Machine instead of just go like go to the store and just, like you could have messed up and everything. So at least it's good thing. At least it's good thing that we know, so um just gonna look around and see what's going on here. A gym mat has been placed here. Part of a PE classes or something. But we haven't had a single PE class yet. So I'm not sure if we ever use this. I mean, what the heck, not. <laughs> An RC helicopter. Who the heck will bring an RC helicopter? A remote control helicopter. What is doing in the school warehouse? Maybe for particular reasons. Who knows? Shot put ball. Why is there shot put ball in there? There's a wooden box. Uh, are these iron balls? It looks like they're for shot put. I pick one up to see if it was heavy as it looks. And it was. The athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hmm. Kayeri, what are you doing? Uh, oh, Shuichi! Done already? Why do you get the feeling that Kayeri's about to bring something? Okay. 
Yeah, I got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras? Would these work? Well, it's kind of really, uh, really old, doesn't it? <laughs> I would imagine. Like, I'm not sure we can do anything like this type of cameras at all for many years or such. I mean, sure, we you we usually all use our phone to take pictures of it. That's the only way to restore it. But imagine if it, like like if you have some kind of like an actual digital camera, like do this like like a photography or documentary the kind of thing. Yeah, that's kind of really like complicated as much. So uh, um... that's all they had. But they work. It should be fine. There is also a photo developing a solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, then how are we able to see it? Well, if you're fine with them... Well. Yeah, three cameras should be okay. Also, here's the security sensor. That's what the sensor looks like. With this sensor, it picks up a movement. It triggers this receiver to make a sound. Okay, then. We should get three of these as well. I see. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensor in stock. Yeah, why? Why has security sensors inside the warehouse exactly? Like, seriously, this whole thing is for like, to for any kind of anything related about murder and dancing when you want the most of it. <laughs> it's like, all you can buy any murder weapon stores for you. That's, that's already terrible to say at least. Uh, oh, do you want me to carry the back cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheet and spare vest, so there's still lots of room inside. Why you have spare vests exactly? And also, why you have a music sheet with you? Well, one point only. Wait, when you ever have a music backpack recently? Then. Alright, let's go talk to Mew. As I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi, I suddenly stopped. Kaede, what are you thinking? Why do I get a bad feeling about this? Are you still thinking of something? Will these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the assassins to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Shuichi has already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Sorry! I shot that thing I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. What thing? What are you hiding? Why well, I get the feeling that she might be <laughs> planning to do something. I mean, I'm playing as Kaede, so why do you expect this is gonna happen? What are you hiding, Kaede? What are you hiding? <laughs> I mean, like, more importantly, why do I get the bad feeling about this? Then... Alright, let's go to Mew's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. I see. Oh, you mean the large building in the garden? At the bottom of the stairs? Hmm. Hmm. Up to now, our research lab have been... Have just been normal classrooms. Well... Well, that seems about right, doesn't it? Well, can I check mine then? I really want to know, like, what Kaede's research lab will be looking like. Before I'm about to head into Muse, can I like go in there? And I can't go there. Great. And I can't do like instant teleportation or something. And of course, that's an excellent saying like, where am I going? But okay, I guess I do this the long way then. Maybe this. I'm not sure I want to go to check out Kaede's research line, but I bet it will go to stop me. And yeah, see, everyone's there doing. And something doesn't make camera sound. Well, what did we just let me look like exactly? I'm not sure. So, anyway, maybe you talk to them. Same thing got for us. Come on, come on! Good morning, good morning to you both! Spend time together again? Um, that's all you gotta say, Angie. Yeah, we weird. Um, where the heck did Mew go? Um, let me check the map. Oh, Mew is on the far side of it? I was like next to the garden. I didn't you see that. And what's Kokichi doing here as well? That I just saw. Him. Bet just did, like one in the vent entrance. Um, I didn't even check this one on the other side as well. Like strangely, 
Um, what Kokichi's been doing? How exciting! I guess the villain over there is Mew's lap. I saw Mew man over there earlier. She was so sweaty and had a total creepy, creepy smile. Why well, makes you think it's creepy there exactly? <laughs> okay. Um. This must be it, right? I'm just curious to know about any hidden Monokumas wandering around here somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is, but I'm not gonna plan to find something. But anyway, but this is it? This is what Mew's speeches lab will look like? <laughs> Even if I'm far side of it, <laughs> I imagine if she, if she ever goes to research lab on her own, it's just gonna come here, walk all the way down here, she feels exhausted. <laughs> oh man. Knock knock! I did not. The door finally swung open. Trashy skank. You're effing late! How dare you waste precious seconds of my time! Jeez, it only took about like a minute. Calm down, Mew. Oh, looks like she's back to normal. Does it? I mean, the way she. Are you thinking about like what happened last time when like we big Mew was just like, um, like doing bow down <laughs> and Mew just like freaking out of it and now she's back to normal? Fuck all y'all. Don't give me my golden brain waiting! Give me what you got! Uh, we got the cameras and sensors and everything. Um, okay, it's just these, but... I took out the three cameras from my backpack, heading them to Mew. What was that? Eight disposable cameras?! What's wrong with that? Hmm. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Unless it might be like old mod or something. Bird watchers, if they know how to gawk a dummy, birds! Of course I can do it! Piece of cake! Okay, I thought for sure you freaked out about, like, why is this supposed to be camera exactly? Ah, uh, here are security sensors. Oh, I see. So you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? Uh, um. I was thinking, the camera should be triggered, could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes on and the shutter activates. That's how I like to work, if possible. I'm not sure if Mew could be able to modify that kind of thing. At I heard it, I whispered into Shuichi's ear. Um, what are you gonna use that for? I'm pretty sure you could do it to catch the mastermind. That's. I'm going to set it up on the movie bookcase. Which in, if Mew is still right in front of us. That way, we can keep watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You mother Hey, what are you whis two whispering about? <laughs> it's Mew about to say you, your mother F, something like that. <laughs> Almost about to, I mean, Mew always keeps swearing a lot, is she? Nothing. Is that all right? I wrote that in details here. Hmm. Oh god, that is really something. You see, you know how to do stuff, though, don't you, Switchy? Two cameras with built-in security sensor that would take photos automatically. And a dark camera that would trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Okay. Sure. How soon do you need these? Uh, um... Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Again. You can tie me up and drag me a hot wax on me, and I still finish in time! Okay then. You're really weird. With a bold decoration, Mew slammed the door in her face. Can I at least check inside, Mew? Did she just reveal some kind of. some of her kinks to us? Oh god. <laughs> she may not do something weird, oddly sexuality or something. Then... I mean, that's Mew to ya. Anyway, I think this will do it. Which I have to wait for Mew to finish. Um. Kaede? What's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Well, not, don't tell me where they're gonna put a shipping up between those two. Huh? That fast. What? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. <laughs> but look at me now. Line and you are like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. <laughs> yeah, Sherlock Holmes, if you're referring to as like 
you know, historical great detective and all. I mean, I never really read anything about novel based on the Sherlock Holmes thing. But I did watch it! And not and actually, when was it? It been like a while back. Like, I just watched it and just like, okay, that's just enough. But uh, oddly surprising enough, it is, it kind of looked really different. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, what now? Which is. He said we wait for tomorrow morning to be done. So we just said to wait until then? <laughs> okay, dude. We went, at, uh, we went at straight separate ways and returned to our rooms. Guess we had to keep hanging out more, right? I wonder if I can hang out with your mom as well. Maybe next time we'll do it. Um, I'm not sure. The time limit expired at night time tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Sure, anything important. Anyways. What do we have here? Hey, we are monsters over at the next to the garden then? Interesting. Anyway, I want to check out the Kaede's research lab. I want to curious to know. I mean, I know it feels like I want to know what it is, so... Can I able to get inside? Oh! It's unlocked! All right, let's go in. Let's see what Kaede's research lab we look like. I'm curious to know when I'm able to get inside of it. Whoa, that's a lot bigger. Something in the center of the room caught my eye. That could help, but shout. Good job. Whoa, a grand piano. That's an interesting place here. Only had a single piano with not a single other seats and everything. Smiley, I ran towards it and lit the cover. Beneath it, a clean row of black and white keys smiled back at me. I hadn't touched the piano in a couple of days, but it feels like it's been forever since I played. <laughs> I really am the piano freak. Yeah, that's what you always like pianos a lot. Man, I like you. Uh, you see, they keep knock out some polyan things. Or, I'm not sure what's the point about like there's a stand there. Like, to listen in or something? Holy jeez, I got a lot of mana coins up bad. I keep doing every single time you keep it to kill, it resets everything. Like, back to my canes. You wanna make sure you got everything smacking? You know, check the uh, piano. It's been tuned properly, too. I was concerned at first, but someone's clearly been taking good care of it. Yeah, but why then? What the heck is all these exactly? CD Rex? Are this all the CDs based on like pianos? There's a bunch of CDs lined up on the shelves. Most of them are classical music. The works of minor and major composers from various areas and countries are all here. Can you play it? I would imagine you do. Well, speaker. It's an audio device. Looks like I can use it to play the CD on the wall. Like seeking in or something? What? I guess that's all those we have for. I mean, this is what Kaede's research life would be look like, but only one single piano. That's a interesting scene around here. <laughs> oh well. But anyways, I think enough of around here. Maybe best I want to hang out with uh, Ryama. I mean, I'm curious to know what Ryama's up to. Who knows? Something might gonna happen. And ah, there he is. <laughs> I was like next to the court and everything, and then he's over there on the other side of it. Jeez. Malcuma said he wants us to play his killing game no matter what. But what good does that do him? What's his goal? Who well, knows? I'll just spend time with you. But if his only reason is that it's fun, then we might be in even more trouble than we thought. Spend some time discussing Malakuma's intentions with Ryoma. Okay. Like, why? <laughs> Ryoma and I grew a little closer today. Like, I'm not sure how is it that we that close exactly. Anyway, I got tons and tons of games I got half. I got this ginger tea lot and Cleopatra's Pearl cocktail thing. Oh, yeah. By the time I did something on screen, I'm not sure I did show you. Like, it did have some kind of, like, any lucky chance. Like, we get that for free, so something like that. And of course, he got these makeup. This uh, it's a sewing kit. 
I think it's for Smoogie now. I mean, that's what he wants. Of course, I'm limited to a while. I'm not sure what he is exactly for or survival or something. Then maybe sometimes it's just like, you want to keep things, it's like, something stuff is gonna happen, so. I mean, you won't know what's gonna happen if something changes. And there's a gunman's passion. It's a basic feel of men's fantasy. Oh god, this is gonna be like an interesting thing. And I shall probably like to see how it goes. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna give him some candy cigarettes. Because that's his favorite. And do you want the icon free to go? If you're giving me this, you really get me, huh? I don't have anything to give you. Is that okay? <laughs> you're strange. Hey. Hey, Kayade. Why do you keep talking to someone like me? Why do you keep sounding like I'm any rude? Um, why? Is that a problem? Oh, do you have other plans? No. It's not the light that. Huh? Then what do you mean? Don't bother with me. Don't bother with me. Huh? Don't bother with me? I don't like the sound of it. It seems like never been so in I mean, that's because you live in a prison or something. Don't you get it? It seems you have a gun. So I'll remind you. I'm a murderer. I warned you about walking up to the killer like me. You're not planning to kill any of us, aren't you, Yama? I see. Oh yeah, you did tell me that. Why? You got a blank look on your face. <laughs> Doesn't even have Yama has like a like awkward look on Kanye, so like that's normal. Because Well, I've never been in this situation before. Now, if you had the contagious cold, I'd be more careful about avoiding you. You're we were forced into a killing game. But you're not wary of murderers? I trust you. And I don't think everyone in the group has killed before. Hmm. Hmm. So that's how the way you live, huh? Hey. Anyway, about your don't bother with me attitude. Do you just say that because you think it might make you sound cool? Hmm. Huh? Of course. Of course, your past is something you can never take back. But you escaped your crime, and now you're making out for it? As a prisoner, right? Yeah. Yeah. I am. You know? I don't think a person like that should bear such a burden alone. Uh. Oh! Are you like the eight years of age, Lord? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Are you gonna say something like, My right arm trembles with the power of darkness? Wait a minute! Where have I heard that before? Is this sound like almost like saying what Gundam Tanaka was sounds like from Dragon Ball 2? Sounded like I'm not sure what you usually say something like this, like tremble of fear or causality, like chaos or whatever one it is. I'm not sure. Gundam is like always speak something like very mythical or sometimes very very religious or something like this. I have no idea. You even have a hamster on. Hey, do I look? Do I really look like that kind of guy? <laughs> At least you're not Gundam. No, you don't. But you've been sucking this whole time, so it's time to see you that way. What? I'm sucking? What's, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I didn't expect to hear that, even though you judge me based on my appearance. Well, that's... yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I'm sucking, huh? Maybe. You might not be wrong. You might let out a huge sigh. Or to the pianist, huh? Your words and voice inspire people's hearts with the melody of the piano. Uh, you say something? I feel like heart is like me so low there recently. Huh? What? Anyway, don't bother with me anymore. You got it? And there it goes. Why you left like that? But the way you said that, the man words reach Ryoma. Ryoma's report card has been updated, based on your experience with him. Okay. Interesting. Normally, it's supposed to be like, do like voicing and like, when to get maximum. Must be your. At the parting ways with Ryoma, I return to my room. Do I still have some time? Please, I still have enough time, that is. I mean, once enough, but still need more. I need to hang out more, all the friends I'm around to hang out with. I talk one stay stuff for a while, so I guess I'll see what everyone else is doing. Oh thank goodness. I was hoping I have like delay or something. Or what kind of gift do I get able to give exactly? Gontor is the type of person who like kinda of buzz, right? I mean 
And that's how that's gonna work, so... Hmm... I'm not sure what the books of animals is like, it's a picture! Kit books, but I'm not sure what the big deal is, so... Maybe this hand grips? I'm not sure I'm going to like that kind of thing. Oh yeah, I actually can check out the... It's a review of the report card for each student. It shows you like... I haven't checked the other kind of characters I think it's to check out then. Okay, that's really something. Not strange enough, there's like... There's likes and dislikes, so based on what I like the most of it. <laughs> and of course, Tanko's dislike is only men. Like, she hate any kind type of man, like, why? <laughs> why not? Okay. Well, there's a lot levels are based on women to hang out with. There's not that much you can do about this. I wish I could give you some kind of like a details or something. Uh, wait. Where should I hang out with? Well, who's around here? Someone I could get hang out with. Um, can I check the ultimate inventor? <laughs> I really wish. Well, there's Kaito there. Maybe I can hang out with Kaito because I don't got something that based on anything space things related. And he's in the game room, so I was not something you find interesting. I'm not sure I want to keep hanging out with Himiko more, but I need to hang out with like, someone else. Up. Oh, I need someone to come up jumping! I need to hang around here in this as well? <laughs> That's really strange. I only got leveled up that fast, and golly, I'm all the way up the level. God dang! I'm not sure how, what kind of level I'm gonna get, like, he's on skill points or something? I don't know. Anyway. There's only one day until the time limit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm not panicking. I'm an astronaut after all. Well, let's just spend time with you then. Oh, you wanna learn how to have a peace of mind like me? Alright, I'll show you how. I should have smacked something else so I could get mana coins. Oh well. Spend some time learning how to have some peace of mind from Kaito. But he told me a story that made me question his de definition of peace of mind. <laughs> really? Not just because he's dumb and all this. Kaito and I grew a little closer today. Uh, anyways. Should I give him the cosmic blanket? Because if you like one of those, and you didn't like, uh, any space related or something. So... Oh, that's pretty interesting. This is almost a perfect gift for the luminary of the stars. You're on the right path. Hey, so. Hey, Kaini. Will you teach me how to play? Will you teach me play piano? Huh? Huh? You really want to play piano, Kaito? Why? What's the matter? What? Why are you so surprised? Because. Because I never would have guessed you'd be interested in playing the piano. Uh. Oh, but I'm happy that you're interested. I'll definitely teach you. Dang, I went kind of fast, but I didn't expect Kaito to ask Kaede to teach him how to play the piano. I was like, how oh, this is gonna work out exactly? I see. Really? Thanks! That'll be a big help once I go to space. Huh? Playing the piano is gonna help you when you go to space? <laughs> You're not gonna bring some kind of like electric keyboard with you. Of course! Of course! What if I meet the alien? Sorry. Sorry, I don't follow. <laughs> yeah, what? That's supposed to mean. I mean, do aliens even exist? I'm sure if they did, it'll be a world changing event, right? That's right. Well, we haven't confirmed any, but it's silly to think that humans are alone in this vast universe. Huh. Plus, isn't it more exciting to think they're out there somewhere? Exciting, huh? Well, I guess. Um. So, if there are aliens, do you want to try to communicate using a piano? Got it. Not just piano, any music. Even singing wouldn't work. So you want to play and sing to all to the aliens there? There's <laughs> not like the alien theaters around here, are there? Communicate by singing? He's been wanting too much anime. <laughs> what? Hey! What's with that face? You think it's impossible, don't you? I think it's totally impossible to communicate with music. After all, it's music on the Voyager Golden Record. Um. The Voyager Golden Record? <laughs> I'm not sure if he wants any kind of anime, but... How is it you become the ultimate astronomer exactly? Come on, man. What? You never heard of it? Ah. Well, I guess it was a while ago. It's not that weird that you wouldn't know about it. It's just that really that old. Were these 
Voyager Golden Record sold in store back in the day? I mean... It wasn't sold. It was shot up into space. Huh? Sh shut up! Um, what does this uh, sound like? That's not like going up as... Blow up or something. Yeah. It was put on a space ground called the Voyager. It was mentioned to any alien that found it. It had green and a bunch of language, image of landscape, and also music. What? I see. Oh, I didn't know they did that. What, you just gotta like. Oh, why does it feel like reminds me of one thing of like. It's not that like time castle thing, like store things or anything, and like you want to keep it for like in the future or something like this, maybe like 50 years or so, like buried out of it. And something like this can happen. I mean. There was another space group called the Pioneer that had a message on the Big Queen. A plague, or something like that. Voyager and the Pioneer were sent to the ends of the universe. And they're still going. If the alien do find them, they might try to analyze the record and contact Earth. I see. Contact with aliens, huh? Maybe it'll happen one day. Got it. Yeah. In the not too distant future, in fact, I contact Mimota, Luminary of the Stars. We'll be the first human to ever come in contact with an alien. Where does he get this confidence from? But communicating with the aliens by music? That might be possible. I know well that music can transcend words and language to unite hearts as one. Oh god, I'm starting to sound like hopeless romantic Nakato. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he's dumb and all, but weird. The party ways with Kaito, I return to my room. So this must be it then. That's the end of the day, which tomorrow, like, the, the deadline comes up. Well, there's an announcement. Is Monica still uh, passing out? Well, uh, this is an announcement. well, at least it's not fat anymore. Uh, no, he just looks like he got <laughs> a little bit dizzy there. For well, some reason. I'm not sure if it called like a hangout or something. And why is everybody else that like screwed over the mana kit away from him? It is now 10 p.m. For the one of your beasts, this might be your last nighttime ever. No way! Don't this something violent to start the killing game? You can't make it one more night. Wee! <laughs> oh, I get it now. I totally get it. It's crystal clear to me now! I understand everything! I'm not sure why you sound like that. I like feels like I'll be like a, a drunk man who just like got out of the bed or something. See? Look at your face! The way your eyes are angled and the way your face is floating. That's a crazy face! <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh, but yeah, Marcus is still hung out. Marcus is really out of it. This is what happens when you drink too much honey. It just happened yesterday. How do you expect to still hang out like that? Bedtimer sign. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night. I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. We promised we would all be friends once we get out. Well, that's a fast ass message. And. What the heck it is supposed to be? I you kids these days? Don't even say thank you anymore. I blame the parents. They didn't proper taught them the true meaning of thank you. Is it mannerisms? It's very important to express gratitude to someone who has done something to you. It will make the person feel happy. And they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. Like you saying thank you so much to get really popular with everyone? That doesn't make any sense. So always say thank you to people, and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> okay then. Anyway, this must be it. This will be the last day. Uh, 
Rise and shine Market! Are you okay? I thought you'd be done with all this like tiny thing Are you about to explode or are you gonna like puke or something? It is now 8 a.m. This is official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Wake up, B! E. It's 8 a.m. Oh, the day to day the time the limit expires! My heart is pounding with excitement! Don't worry! Don't worry! If you end up in heck, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game! Why is the fierce and mother fanny doesn't like any of us want to do any type of murdering type thing or something? And she feels like a nice person or something. Reminds me of like Monami or Sami. The hell you say? You just assume they're gonna go to heck! <laughs> this Um what's with all the shapes? Is it are you centering or something? I'm not sure if any one of those is sense or something. It was like this blank is in square and you 16 are the triangle who triangle circle delete square and count circle as a triangle square humans I don't know what the language is exactly <laughs> it's not like I put word to it unless this might be like shapes are centered uh -oh. hey monarchy why don't we go over there and drink some more honey okay I oh, just give him more honey to get more drunk is that what you're trying to do Y'all are weird. Y'all are literally weird. <laughs> anyway. The timeline was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. Maybe I can stick around for a bit, like, maybe the next victim's gonna happen, so I'm sure of it. I slept by chicks and leap out of bed. Alright! Alright, first I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're gonna catch the mastermind together. Okay, yeah. So, just go check on Shuichi. Oh yeah, which means Mew's picture will be... Mew done in the end of the picture will be done right now, right? I really hope so. Huh? Huh? No response. And when does something matter? It really takes patience, Kayede. There he is. See? Oh. Uh, Kayede, good morning. Jeez, Kayede, don't freak out about like, something like this. She's finally came out! You had me nerve for a second! Says so you! You why you say that sounds like what Mew says! Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to the bathroom. Like <laughs> Wow. You can at least just guy wait for a minute, Kayede. Are you ready then? You had to get the camera from Mew, right? Remember? Okay. Yeah. Right. Should we check on the uh, uh, research lab to see if she's still in there? I don't know. What am I going to find out then? Yeah! Hi guys! How are you guys? Hey AJ, what are you doing? Hey AJ! Have you decided how you want to spend your final moment? Maybe you want to play to a tour with me? No, I don't want to. Oh, what? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. Do that too. You do get along so well. I was hoping you would love off on the other side of the hall. Uh, huh? What are you talking about? A two has spoken. It says dire times. When would they start fighting? Huh? Fighting? Uh oh. What are they doing? Oh. Um. They're fighting in the dining hall. A two has already found out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Okay, who caused the scene there? Shuichi. Shuichi? Can you go get the stuff from you? I had to see what happened. Leave it to me. Okay. I'll go get the camera. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, got it. Um Angie, you said that you home, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie! We'll stop it together! Who's funny who though? And why? Yeah, I wanna know who. <laughs> who made the scene exactly? You man to do something crazy! All of you! Okay, who did it? Who messed- Who's messing up a scene? There's only a few people. Hey! Well, what's going on here? There's only a few people there. Where's everybody else? I thought everyone's gonna be gathered here. Oh. Oh, Kayede. Uh, perfect timing. Rental, what did you do? I really don't know what to do, Kayede. We must start talking crazy. Oh no. 
Is he gonna do something crazy? I mean, he did say he used he was a murderer and all this, but he may be a part of like prisoner back then. But still, but why? <laughs> all I was doing was making a suggestion, so that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. I mean, what's that supposed to mean? You can talk to the tower or something? Well, before I do, I need more mana coin. Don't mind me. And that's like just Kurumi there as well. I'm not sure what she's doing there. Is she trying to stop the fight or something? I don't know. Oh, also Kia was there as well. <laughs> and then uh, Kia was behind Ventara all along. Okay. That's a shame. We almost stopped talking crazy. We didn't know what to do. Kaede, listen to him. <laughs> Want me to talk to Ryama then? Really? What are you doing then? Um. So that more people can survive? Ryama, what do you mean by that? You know, specifically thinking you're gonna plan to kill someone. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we will get annihilated, you know? Yeah, true. The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? What? Now, hold on a minute! No! Ryama! I was not gonna let anyone kill you, or not one person gonna kill you, but why? Huh? Ryama! What are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either? I'm saying that I'm giving you guys my life. You can't seriously just give up like that. There's no way. I mean, none of us are going to do it. If, if one of us is going to kill you, Miyama, me, we're not going to do it in class or anything. Well, that means it's going to be one person going to like, get out of it, but no way not going to happen. I don't have any reason to live anymore. Why are you saying well. like this? So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. Oh god, Ryama, why did you do this? Why are you just activating crazy right now? I thought you'd be so good. That's wrong. No way! We promised we'll get out of here together. I swear, if we almost died, I swear to god I'm going to freak out about it. Or I want to scream that badly. Hm. Hm. I hope it end that way. That's why I wait so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline, without doing anything to change it. In other words... There's no more time left for idealism. Don't you think? Uh, no! It's not idealism! However... This is the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets escaped can go for help and rescue everyone else. I'm not sure if that might be possible. Well, how about it? If you got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, um, well, what should I do? If I should reach his plan with him, we have a good change his mind. No, I don't think it's possible because he was just gonna like spread out like, what are you talking about? What mastermind? Actually, Fuyama. There's no need for that. Oh god, there comes the craziest man Why does it feel like he become like a next Nagito? Hmm. I'm going to end this game. There's no need for that. Because they're going to end this game. How? You got a plan to kill one of us? Or what are you going to do? I've made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You going to end this game? Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However. Can you even accomplish such a feat? Yeah. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Yeah. And how would you end it? You understand the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I, just what I said. I'm going to end this game. Get it? Holy Jesus! I was okay. Now it's getting really, really crazy and unexpected. I don't like the sound of it. So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary. Alright. What? Unnecessary? You've still got a ways <laughs> to go. When you put it like that? It seems like I still have a ways to go. That's why I like you saying this. Got it. Alright. I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Will you guys live or die is up to you. 
after we almost said that, he left the tiny hole. Is killing themselves counts or something like this or not? I have no idea. That's a shame. Jeez. That Ryoma. I hope I helped calm him down a little. Well, calm him down barely much, but but you what you did, you got really crazy than I expected. But what is he gonna do exactly? Um anyway, Rentaro. Were you serious when you say you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? What? How should I put Well, this? even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Rare time. Okie dokie! The end you could play for your strategy is success, Mentor. But punished. if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations of gun, okay? Oh, jeez, Angie, I never expected you get so darker. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Hmm? Actually. I guess. I have to do my best. When Tarot left, but what he said had really affected me. But and in this game, is this even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, and in this game? <laughs> you don't know that? Nibiron told us hidden talent is actually in the explosion! In the end, only Atua knows. Hidden talent? When Tao's hidden talent. Yeah, even strange, what he's gonna do? Even though he has like, like, no talents or not. But what he's gonna do? I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I can't, don't understand. I just need to do what I can, or else I won't be able to protect everyone. Okay. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? It seems everyone just left already, but uh... Okay. I'll just leave me be. So, from which stair is it? From the bottom floor or something? Or next to the classroom? But whatever it is, I get the bad feeling about this. He sees everyone else I feel like are falling down or something. The oh hey, content and I got level now, but just surprised for no reason. What happened? Kaede! Something happened! Gonta see and Tom walk by! His face look scary! Um Yeah, about that. We and Rinto got into the fight. No can do that! F fight! Where? Gonta go stop them! They already left already. No. No, it's fine. So you don't need to worry about it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Gonta's not where he need most. No. Don't worry about it. Oh, why can't you just come on in and just like stop them? If Angie hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about it either. <sighs> okay. That's right. Anyway, can we meet Kyo and Angie are in the dining hall today? How about you eat breakfast with them? Oh. Really? Then Gonta also go to the dining hall. Okay, then. I hope it's okay. Um, well, hey, Smoogie. What are you doing here? Huh? Good morning, Kaede. Um, morning. Hey. Hey, so earlier, I saw Shuichi. Huh? Huh? What? Where was Shuichi? Um, um, I saw Shuichi come out of Mew's research lab. Yeah. Uh, oh, you don't say it. Why you think about that, Smoogie? I wonder what he was doing in these so early in the morning. Like I thought. I don't think that anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this. Do you wanna try? He's made people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? Um. Um, I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Now's not the time for that. The time limit's up. Tonight, anyway. <sighs> After going through it so much, it's strange out. But I feel like I come to accept it. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I should spend the last day of my life. Wow, Smiggy. I'm not sure you just being that depressed or what. I guess... I mean, that's how her, her nature is or something. Um, anyways. Um... Is it her... Is it his... The classroom next to the basement, right? Classroom me? Please tell me he's still in there. Please tell me he's still in there. 
I'll take Gunnahee's here. Suichi. Sorry, Suichi! No. Ah, it's alright. I just got here too. Um, How did it go? Did Mia finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Wow. How? <laughs> when did she put all nighter, Dane? Anyway, here's the results. Wow. That's a... Interesting setup. Hey, did you put duct tape and wrap around it? How's that work? Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take pictures and trigger this receiver. That's for the bookcase then. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any picture. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to mainly wind the film, right? I mean, it's taking a long time to take a pic, no. right? Yes. Mio thought of that. She told me that camera will wind automatically. I see. So once they set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensors check it. So, every time it moves, it can take pictures constantly? Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. Of what? The movements? They're completely silent. This is perfect. Well, it needs to be these that are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh, uh, do these cameras have flashes? I'm not sure why. That's yeah, they still have flashes on them. But I switched them off. This shouldn't be the problem. But, but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Imagine if they're like uh, someone acted that they turn the flash on and they got like what was that I uh, hope not mm -hmm. I'm impressed though we modified them to our spec specifications then all right I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library why in this classroom huh, huh? tell me about this classroom is that all right yeah I did this perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras so we just got like a like a stakeout that's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Ah, oh, I see. So we had to peek to it to see someone who goes downstairs then. Oh yeah, you're right. We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. That's a nice solution now. Hey. There's one more reason I chose this specific camera classroom. One more reason? Was there more? Please don't leave me hanging! I mean, I like to speak! Uh, fine. One name is in. I'm just gonna keep smacking it. Because I can see tons and tons of mana coins around it. And she just she wondered like, what are you doing? Why you smacked all the the desert and everything? No reason. Ah, give me the reason and everything. Well, whatever. Anyway. Hey. It's because of something. Something that's only here. What's something only here then? Am I supposed to look around and put the room or something? That seemed like the other reason. What's the other reason? Mana? Which one is it? Oh, yeah, vent. Uh, is this a vent? I don't know, there's a vent there. Why there? That's. It's connected to the library in the basement. You recognize the smell immediately. Wait, that that's connected to the library? Why? That was really strange. The smell? After Suichi told me that, I'm leaning the closer to the vent. Uh, oh! It smells like musty old books! Does this lead to the library? Well, it's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Well, why? Remember. Remember the duck we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. Oh, the big tube? I didn't really see that part. But the vent in the classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. 
Then again, everything about this school is odd. Yeah, it is, right? Uh, um... This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. That? Why the venting? This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit. So we should watch this carefully, too. Hmm. Oh, they could fit through here. Well, maybe I could, but it'll be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Okay. That's very strange. Why are you thinking yeah. about the vent? This might be a thing. Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. Okay. I guess we have to do things. It's fine to set up line in motion. I get nervous. My heart is racing. I guess only way I find out is just going down there. Maybe I stick around for a bit. See what's happened for the results. I mean, what long videos you have? Like, I get the feeling that someone's got to, like, a dial. I mean, the time limits occur, so what do you think is going to happen? Ah, I see. I can see the air ducts up ahead as well. Along with his bookcases. Hey. So, where do you want to place the cameras? You're right. Let's aim the one link to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase. Okay. Yes. The camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then where are we putting the other two sensor? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the libraries. The front entrance near the stairs, the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's say one at each entrance. That way, we have pictures of everyone who enters the library. That'll be interesting enough. Huh? But how about over there? Um. Didn't you say the person could fit through the vent that connected the classroom? Hey. Wait, shouldn't we make sure the person could actually fit into it? <laughs> anyone else who would be We'll be able to fit in this vent. Do you think it will come small enough? Or works like kind of like a mice? I uh, think it'll be fine. Since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. We should just get it a little more, just in case. But we can't reach that high. Hmm, we need something to stand on. Like a ladder? Because there's a ladder right next to it. Uh, oh, I could probably use this ladder. Position ladder below the vent and climb up. Whoa! Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. I mean, that's how the bookcase already high it is. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my um delicates? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Like underneath your skirt? No. <laughs> switch is gonna be blushing. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you spit at me? You're the one who climbed up the, the climb up the ladder to check for it. And she reaches the guy and he just saw you. Well, whatever. You cannot see them. Anyway, this is the vent. There's a great covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grid off? Uh, there we go. Hey, Chain. The grate came off pretty easily. Really? Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a uh, klutz. I paused the... I pushed the grate into the duck. Then I lift my body and look inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? <laughs> how can anyone can fit the person in there? Even if it's not small. Hmm. It would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. Okay. With that, I begin to arrange the books around the vent. Okay, but why are you just arranging around it? After I finish stacking the books, I climb down the ladder. Why are you just arranging around the vent? Are you okay? Kaede, what's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ballads. 
you know? And she really like complicated contraptions. Like, we'll be Goldberg machines and stuff. Some pasta, this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um... y you really think so? Of course. Of course! We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all catch the we'll escape. Alright! So let's try and set up the cameras. Then. Yeah, so I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that. Uh, oh, hold on! I had an idea while I was on the top of the bookcase. What if we place the camera up there? I'm sure the master wouldn't notice it. But. But, but with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Now, that's now why you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase. And see if I can make room for it, camera. Why ain't I like get some Kai's about to do something? Right? That way we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like an idea. Alright! Alright, now let's do it! I climb up the ladder and look at the top of the bookcase. Bookcase. Again? Mm. There are way more books in here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stack of books. All right. This is nothing. I as I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Why do you organize the books a lot? What is that you're planning to do? Gee, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. Hmm. I thought so. I just gotta try a little harder. Hey, Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. I continue moving the ladder as I keep reading the books. It's just it feels like I can't give up just yet. Like, what's the point about moving the book exactly? <sighs> Holy jeez! Now it's all like straight up. Gee, these uh, books are so heavy. We need an encyclopedia. I flip open the book. Wait! Uh, Kaede, is this really the time to be reading the book? Uh, Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. Why is Kaede feels like she about to do something? Uh, after I made this excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um, looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Every single thing he's in, but like what I could defeat in Kaede might be up to something. Be easy if I could move them to the ground, but that would be look suspicious. You're right. Yeah, we had to mi minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the camera. Uh, then I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books, like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, um... No, I don't. Ah, if we put them on top of the bookcase, and the angle wouldn't quite reach. Ah, uh, here I thought it would be a good idea! Is that alright? So, about the place to put the cameras. What is it? Hmm. We decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera linked to it would be set up right here. That way, it will capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. I see. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here. And the bookcase is good. That's an odd way to have to trigger it. They... They would have to pass by here, no matter which door they used. Yeah. Yeah, good. Sounds good. That's at the camera that connects to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then... Let me take care of the security sensor on top of book bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. About duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Why duct tape? Yeah. Thanks. With that, we got to work. I measure so they place the camera in the gaps of the bookcase. 
Um, I also noticed on the top, there's that little bit of gap on there, where all the books have been left there. That's what Kayani's doing, was it? I don't know what she's not doing. I get a bad feeling about this. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. As long as they didn't cover it. Yeah. Alright, that should do it. Okay. I finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the master will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the king door, a sensor will detect that. And signal this receiver. And at that moment, the camera touched this sensor was not the critical picture. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably. It'll definitely work. Then. All right then, the final step. Turn on the sensor. I see. All right, we should turn them on before we leave. I mean, that's a plan, right. so. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if it took our pictures. Yeah. I just like rushing in fast. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exit the library. Okay, which can I just leave it here or just go straight to the classroom? Mm hmm. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No. I'm rather focused on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see you. You're right. Not true. Well, let's go to the classroom. Well, okay. Eh, I guess we're just gonna leave here for now. I thought for sure I was gonna keep playing long for a bit, but... And maybe not. I'll just go leave here for now then. But I get the feeling someone's going to die for the next part. <laughs> I had a hunch. But Kaini's been setting up the bookcase a lot. I'm not sure what she planned to do exactly. I get the feeling she's about to do something crazy, something stupid. But that's my gut feeling. So who knows what comes next? I can't say I said it. Who knows what comes next? But it's gonna be really stupid. But anyways, I'll come back again, maybe next week or so. And hopefully, if they, we have another victim here, I guess we're just like, straight to it that fast, and probably a little bit of investigation as the time goes by, something like that. But anyways, uh, that pretty much it for Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. If you like this video, hit that like button too. Light them up! If more videos, you go and subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!